I've just checked the weed hatch. It's all good? Yeah, it looks to be. It fits firmly. Excellent. The reason I've checked the weed hatch is because the bottom baffle plate was catching on the lip. So in the survey report, they suggested that a little bit of the metal be ground off so that it would fit flush. And I was just checking that that had been done. A bit late now though. I'm just checking that the inverter works because right now we're just over the road from a Chandler's and when we leave the marina we're not. So I just wanted to be 100% sure and it seems to be working fine. when they have one of their 15% off sales. Which will be in November the next one. Yeah, the next one is in November. And just, if Midland Chandler's does happen to watch this, we're wondering if you have a code to help each other out for when there's like super annoying customers. <laughs> and the super annoying customers stay there for ages talking about super annoying electrics. Do you have a code, like a safe word? Look at this on the computer. <laughs> I don't get it. Bye. Really nice guys, really helpful, really knowledgeable. And loads of stock. Hi. So the really weird thing is that the last canal we did was the Shropshire Union Canal. And now suddenly we're just on the Trenton Mersey, which is really weird because I have no context of where I am or what I'm doing. We loved Ewitt and we were more than happy to keep her for another year, but we couldn't run the business on her in the end. No. Well, we could. It's just Kath didn't have a room. Is this Tickover? No. Oh, is this fast? That's oh, that's Tickover. Sorry. Sorry, that boat back there. So, yeah. This is Tickover now, people who play along at home. So there's a few things for us to get used to. This boat is five foot longer than Ewitt. And it has a different engine and she starts we, different yeah as we said there is a little bit of work to be done so no disrespect to the previous owners but I don't think they did any maintenance and with the advanced planning we started planning our journey this morning <laughs> and I got we've got a stack of Pearson's canal guides they're the ones that we prefer to use and I got the one out for the Trent and Mersey canal and I couldn't find Mercy and Marina and it turned out that the edition that we have was pr printed in 2007 so that bridge didn't exist and neither did Mercy and Marina I've drawn it in We're passing our first boat. It feels like this is our f the first time we've driven. Is that 
viewers may note, we do not have a chimney. So that's going to be exciting. It's actually one of the reasons we bought the boat. And all of that will be revealed in upcoming episodes. <laughs> We're also wearing matching jackets. That's because they're both my jackets. That one goes under this one. And Kath's too lazy to go to the cupboard to get her own. I don't know where mine is. We don't know where half the things are. our second boat we always said you only buy your first boat once and now we say you only buy your second boat once <laughs> we, said, we said you only sell your first boat once yeah <laughs> and um we're gonna start a new series called the narrowboat experience 2.0 are we yeah because people have been asking us to number our vlogs <laughs> and i didn't have the time to go back and number all of the yeah, there's season over, one there's, some, the, there's nearly 300 videos yeah so welcome to the narrow boat experience 2.0 on you at two what is the name of this boat you might be asking she is called lazy days which you might have seen on the side of the boat however we are going to rename her uh, won't... possibly when we get it blacked yes it won't take as long as uh, we took to rename Ewitt. Because we never renamed it. <laughs> but we do have that in mind, so we, I was thinking we would, we would talk about that in future episodes. Yeah. So big thanks to everybody that's followed along with us in our short daily vlog series of moving on board. And thanks to everyone for their support. Yes. And their lovely comments. Hope you found it helpful if you are looking for a boat yourself and um, also I think buying the buying a boat is the great equalizer it doesn't matter if you're buying a GRP or if you're buying a 20 foot boat or a 70 foot boat or we, you're spending 20 grand or you're spending 50 grand or grand. 70 grand or do, I shouldn't, do what you want with your money um, it, it's a great equalizer. We all get nervous and we all get excited. So yeah. we're really happy to have taken you on that journey with us. Yes. Um, so join us again next week. If you haven't already, please do click the subscribe button to be notified when we release the next video. It could be cruising along the Trent and Mersey Canal, new waterways for us. Yep, it might be. We've got, some, we've got lots of things planned. So click yep. the subscribe button so that you stay up to date. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.